Guantanamo Bay. Despite Fidel Castro's threats to expel the United States from the big naval base in southeast Cuba, life goes on in normal routine. 3,500 civilian workers arrive each morning for what are among the steadiest, best-paying jobs in the country. America's leasehold on this site was incorporated in the treaty signed with Cuba in 1903, after the Spanish-American War. Castro now proposes to challenge the legality of the agreement, but so far has taken no active steps about it. The base, however, has been effectively isolated from the rest of Cuba since 1958. Cuban soldiers recently cleared a 75-foot strip along the American high-wire fence. A cactus wall was then planted in the clearing. American Marines stay alert, but unalarmed by these moves. Minefields and pillboxes are installed on both sides of the fence. These American ones are to help protect the 2,400 naval personnel and families if Cubans should become trigger-happy.